What up, what up, what up, everybody? Give me a second, give me a second. About to go live. But I got something to say. Real quick. Real quick. Uh, early in the morning. But hey, good morning, everybody. It's 11.04. This might be one of my quickest lives. Uh, Got to go to work early so I can't really dig into it the way I want to dig into it. So. But I tell you this. I will be back later on. But dig into it always. Like I need to. Alright. Let's go. What up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, Will, email me the information. Email me that information about 1230, Willie. All right. Let's go. Look, all my diamonds wet, wet. 
I be fucking endless bitches through my Snapchat. They send me pictures of that pussy, I don't chat back. She had a baby trying to fuck me, oh, she snap back. She know my nigga always capping, he'll snap back. And I just trashed the SRT and brought the hell cat. You know a gangster got fall, but you gotta bounce back. And man, you niggas way too old to keep on asking where your ounce at. Nigga hit me full brick, I'm rolling out the bed. They got 20 on your shit, we'll take this 40 to the head. Millennial clip, they got like 60, got like 30 in the sig. And only thing we got spares, all the women and the kids. And let me tell you about my lady, that's my baby, and she's story bad. Last nigga brought her hugs, fully brought her Lloyd bags. Heard it disrespect my name, know them boys blew his ass. I'm the one sitting on all this money like a Mr. Crash. I can pick out any bitch I want, I got the gift again. Any bitch that ever fuck with me ain't had to live for bad. It's a motherfucking guarantee that she gon' get a bag. Best believe I keepin' all receipts when I'm gon' send a bag. Wow. Coronavirus gave my boys a takeoff. We was making 3,000 off of eight ball. And not to mention taking hits like we was eight off. Roll up all the baking soda like we had a bake off. And all my niggas hustlers. That's probably the reason why these yo, niggas never yo, fuck with us. Cause all these half ass plugs, you sell them half ass drugs. And if you sell us that shit, you know what's stuck with us. Don't kiss We gon' spin that bitch until we dizzy. Uh -huh. We gon' find out everybody live and we gon' pop her like a willy. Uh -huh. And we gon' keep them heats when niggas chilly. And all my Glocks black on, they ready to get busy. No kissy. Yeah, I peep the hate, but I got something for they dumb ass. All, all I need is one car with one Glock and, and one mask. mask. Then I let off hella shots like I had a heat in both Let's hands. Go. All they gon' say that nigga Andy or the gun. Let's go, Boy, it ain't no joke with us. Moncler only co for Be us. more stand up. Out of sections, fully in one opened up. Rollies residential when they bust, they probably go for us. Endless, 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 everything they keep on quoting us. And I was on the yachty with them thotties. Shout out Bruce Court. Only time we don't want to smoke is when it's new ports. And I be trying to find myself a rabbit trapping D boy on his keys on my block. They think we selling keyboards. I am only playing offense on point like a shark fin. Brought my own gear to Miami. I'm a dolphin. They like fully think he found himself. I never lost it. I can go to Neiman Marcus now on my closet. Cause I be. Go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Early morning. We're going to get through this real quick. What's up, everybody? What's going on, Dream Team? Um, Let's get some things straight. Let's get some things straight. Um, I was in my block list, right? And I see who my mods are. Kind of got choked up a little bit because I seen Lana. You know, rest in peace, Lana. She's no longer with us on this side of the earth, but she will, but she will forever be a mod on my channel. Um, just because she passed away, don't mean I'm going to remove her wrench. I'm not going to do that at all. I miss Lana. All right, cool. Let's go. Ahead. Data J got something to say. Um, um, Dana got something to say, really. Um, shout out to everybody that's here. Hey, Ms. April Showers. <clears throat> I see all your comments. Um, just to let you know that every time you comment, I see it all. Sometimes I pay attention to it. Sometimes I don't. <clears throat> but, um, uh, and for three years, I've been the most consistent, the most down to earth, the most informational about this R. Kelly case. I know, look, look, I can put up gang signs on it. About this R. Kelly case. So, for me to have, or for me to even tolerate, switches 
junkies and pedophiles to come in and try to hijack something that I put on my back and ran with, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. So I see the strategic move. I get it. I get it. And when I said that everybody's working with the con, I meant that. Somebody got offered something. Somebody passed that down the line. Oh, this was being offered. Yada, yada, yada. I only know one person that got a direct phone call. Because I was watching it. When A.R. Rich called that person, a.k.a. Richard Allline, and said, the con got some work for you. So I understand the strategic movements. But then you have a lady come in who wants to be a comedian. They jump on the people and try to disparage the people that's rocking for Robert. Because they want to keep the public perception the way it is. Mm. A lot of us came in to change. Hey, Silky Smooth. A lot of us came in to change the public opinion about Robert. There was nobody fighting Lifetime like me. And then I was happy to when I seen Prima, when I seen Levi, when I seen Miss Darling April, I was happy. Y'all know, man, Miss Darlene had a rocky start because of the lies that the distractors told. Oh, Dana against you? No, just 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 just, just, just like I told Miss Darling April. I think it was a good move. I just didn't think it was the right time. And she was like, ah, I get it. I never said nothing bad about Miss Darlene. But but when the distractors got in her ear. So, so something played out to me last night. <laughs> this is why I tell people, you can't give me time to think. Once again, I'm glad to see Shaborn jump back out. Um, I didn't get a chance to catch her live, but I heard that she was out, so so I mean, so shout out to her. Um, but one thing I I did see is some screenshots of that live, and the comedian, along with somebody else, was trying to persuade D. Wilson to do something that she's never done. Excuse my French, and that's be a bitch-ass person. D. Wilson has never been that. So I get it. Now all of a sudden, people want to go live talking about the deflection. Well, what's the deflect? I do believe I'm straight cut down the middle, all the way directing your living room. I don't deflect nothing. Oh, I heard what your guy that you promoting the ice cream for said about Rob. Well, shit, I heard what you said about Rob directly. If you think I'm playing, take the video off private. Or was it the video that you deleted? Which, which, which one? Which one? Because I got the link to both. Take the video off private. And let's let the world understand how you really feel about Robert. One stink. A.K.A. Don Russell Groupie or Groper. I'm going to go there. Because, oh, guys, look at the deflection. I'm lost. Half of these people in here don't have an identity. You get on here, oh, eh, 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 eh. 
So it's like you're trying to be three people at one time. All of you. Be yourself. That's why I say it every time I get ready to end my show. Be someone important. Be yourself. But there's links to your bullshit that you thought nobody have. Oh, I got the links. One is blocked and one is deleted. So which one of the videos of those two when you talking about Robert like a dog? But, oh, you feel Robert said I said Kelly. How? How? I said it once, I said it again. Anybody that's for Don can't be for Robert. And I'm approved that too. Then you have Captain Caveman. I don't get it. Who talked the most sugar honey iced tea about Robert? Oh, Robert, an innocent dude. You know, he gonna be like a light bill. Spreading all them lies. And don't have nothing to back it up with. You say I'm going to jail. Show the paperwork. Show the paperwork with me going to jail. What up, Levi? That's how we going to shut up everything. From now on, we ain't even going to talk. We ain't even going to talk. Hold on. Hey, Miss Darlene. Yeah, I'm live. And you know I'm live. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, because I was putting stuff in the comments and I'm looking at them. At oh, I'm watching you. Oh, I'm looking at all your comments and you just put oh, to sit okay. back and watch what how I all this mess has played out. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. What I wanted to say is, you know, don't let these people take you out of character. Oh, I'm not. Uh, F these people. Exactly. You know, Okay. Facts. They talk about certain people. They have selective outrage with this shit. This this group over here, y'all want to talk about these people, but you ain't talking about the main source that was stealing, scheming, conniving, and everything else. I can't do this shit anymore, and I'm not. I don't. I'm not doing any more shows. The April family, we love Rob. I don't have to prove anything to anybody. I filed lawsuits. That's nobody's business. It was public information, and it was done with Rob's permission. Right. Who in the fuck do you people think you are? Half of y'all ain't shit, but lying, scheming, deceivers. You're evil and demonic. Rob is not a hateful man. He is a forgiving man. And y'all done bought everything into this blogger YouTube world to make him look bad. I had to remove myself because it's just certain people I can't digest. And you got people that's giving them kudos. And they've been the main con artists that came in to separate, conquer, and divide. This has been so hurtful. And I know I probably wasn't part of her agenda because I didn't have to come in. I didn't come in begging nobody for shit. Only thing I did is came in to show a video, and which I have more videos and pictures, but I wouldn't dare share them with you dirty people. You're dirty. You're dirty. To try to make him look, look good. That's all. So you stay focused. Stop being distracted. And I don't comment. Me and you are at a good place. That's right. Uh, you, you know what I told you. Now don't have, <coughs> have to get on the plane and come whoop your ass. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs> Man, hey, it is what it is. That's Miss Darling, ain't we, y'all? Uh...
I don't got no beef. Not me. So, so that's sad. When you have people that actually know the man that's ready to say, you know what? I'm throwing a towel. I'm done. Nah, I can't let that happen. Once again, if I got to put it back on my back again, I don't mind doing it. Like I say, the cleanest hands in the game. I want to get dirty, though. I want to get my hands dirty. I really do. But the cleanest hands in the game sometimes, you know. But but like I was saying, um, and Miss April really touched me on that. Dang, I, for that. Matter of fact, I wish she won't go, but it is what it is. I understand. So, <clears throat> like I say, you got the little uh, Captain Caveman that talked all the trash in the world, right? Then you got Swiper, no swiping, that's stealing everybody money. That's, <laughs> from what I heard, it's your boy put it out there again, like, oh, if she collected the money and said going to the lawyer, oh, yeah, she's been doing that for a while. That's going to her pocket. Um, then you got the Lord Dildo dude, right? <laughs> if y'all was up late night and y'all was on, uh, uh, Angie channel, y'all will see I got up there. <laughs> y'all heard me say, dude, I ain't even arguing with you, bro. I'm not. He couldn't get to me. So he wanted to turn into an argument, right? <clears throat> they always say, if you want to hear a fool, let him talk. He said, yo, remember what you said to me about the alien, right? I, I said, who's the alien? He said, the one in New York. I laughed it off because I knew who he was talking about the whole time. But I'm not going to take part of belittling that young lady. She is a great person, and Mercedes is cool, and I stand on that. Even though she do do even though she do things her way. It is what it is. That's another one that I got to meet face to face and it was cool. It wasn't no bad vibes, no nothing. Okay. So he said, hey, you know what you told me about her? I said, Yeah. He said, Well, same thing go for Jasmine. That's my boo thing. Okay, you act like I give a fuck. It was just something to play with. When she wanted to play, I woke up and the lion played. Then he said, yo, are you calling to ask her was she pregnant? What? I asked who? I haven't even, I haven't even talked to that girl. When Denise called me with her because she needed a place to stay, right? I told Denise, hell no. And then he said, baby boy, think about it. I said, thought about it. No. And she never called me back with a... So now, allegedly, she's pregnant. I wish Jasmine all the best of luck. <clears throat> but to go around lying on me, <laughs> I thank you. And then I said, well... If, if you don't want me talking about Jasmine, don't say nothing else about Prima Donna. He talking about, oh, I can fuck Prima Donna. Did. But I know who sleep next to Prima Donna, and if he would have heard that, he definitely would have had a problem with that. So, you see how I'm, you see where I'm going? It go from supposed to be writing for fighting for Rob to now extreme personal. And then when you put hands on these people, the first thing they say, oh, this is supposed to be for Robert Sussex Kelly. They doing it in the eyes of Robert Sussex Kelly. No, we ain't doing it in the eyes of Robert Sussex Kelly. But if you don't want me disrespecting Jasmine or T-Baby, you ain't going to disrespect Sky Zone, Primo, or none of the women over here. And for him to say, oh, I can sleep next I mean, I can F Prima. Nigga, you, you, you dream about that. 
I know you look at the pictures, but I got the red, but I got the American flag on it. I know your mind like, oh man, she's sexy as hell. I know that. I can't help it that the dream team have the sexiest women on the internet. That's just who they are. I'm just blessed to be cool with them. I mean, I understand that none of the women over here look, look like men. I understand it. Even the older women look sexy as hell and they still drop a tail feather. Oh, Prima just spoke. BDB, please, am I Martin Boy? <laughs> right. Right. So I understand when you're looking at Prima pictures. I understand when you got to settle for carry out and you see her making cakes for her man and for her clients. Oh, did I say that? For her man. No, let, let me reintroduce that to her fiance. I understand that Prima is not a pass around, but everybody that you're trying to label as your boo thing has been passed around. But then he say, oh, you idolize Robert. I laughed about it. What? But this is the same guy that says there's no honor in defending a pedophile. That says his family come before Robert, which is understandable about that last part. But the first part, there's no honor in defending a pedophile. That means you already saying that Robert is a pedophile. And then you try to come and clean it up. And then you have people who like you try to help you clean it up. There's no cleaning up bullshit. So I haven't said this before, but now I'm going to say it again. And I think this statement is needed. How can you go and sit on them platforms and like those type of people and be for Robert? Only if you like minded. I can't fuck with those type of people. Don't come near me or my platform. I mean that shit. That's just where it's at. I can't have kryptonite around Superman. You feel me? I I just can't do it. If if that's what you follow, then stay there. That's your low key. That's your way of thinking. That's your morale. Do that. We on another level over here. And don't give a flying hooting nanny who don't like it. So something should have clicked in people's minds that watched it last night when I told yo, yo, we don't got to argue right here. Just when you see me, have the same aggression. He want to keep going. So you said you're going to do this. That's informant shit. So you said in front of the courthouse, is that, I just want to know. That's informant shit. What's understood don't need to be talked about. And what you need to understand is that I got a problem with you until I see you. I didn't say you had a problem with me. I said I have a problem with you until you see me or I see you. And I'm doing it biblically. The Bible said if you got an art against your brother, you go to him in person. Cool. So whichever way I feel like extracting my anger towards you, that's the way I'm going to do it. I just hope you're ready. Like I said, you got to back up everything you've been saying, brother. Show me. That's where I'm at. Show me. Hey, Susie, show me. Don't talk to me. Show me. So to get on these platforms, oh, nigga, I do this. Cap. That's informant shit. Let's not inform nobody that means you need to lock horns. And then you say, you know, my boy, my boy going to be that. So when you got a boy that got a loud mouth, I guess that's where it stops. The problem is my boys don't like talking. My boys like extracting violence. 
But that's just them. Let's leave that there. We don't need to talk about them. So I understand. I'm from the land of the old, bro. And not old block. I'm from the real old. Where we have 10 old blocks within a radius of 10 miles of each other. Lafayette, Flag, Lexington Terrace, Somerset, Latrobe. I can keep going. Lexington Terrace, Murphy Homes. I can keep going. Perkins. Douglas, which is still up. I can keep going. So me turning back to where I'm from, that's a fucking mistake for you, bro. I don't take being stabbed in the back lightly. But it is what it is. So I get it how people can try to manipulate stuff. Oh no, Don Russell was right the whole time. Da, 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 da. Well, okay. Don Russell was right the whole time, right? <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna say. I'm no longer gonna debate nobody unless we're gonna debate Don Russell paperwork, okay? So let's go here. If Don Russell was right the whole time, and if you for Don, this is why I say you can't be for Robert. <clears throat> Shout out the piece of the puzzle because this is her this is her work right here. And she linked the back of the uh joint. I gotta have somebody teach me how to do that. So it go right here. Let's go to line 18 real quick. Based on my review of search warrant returns for the Russell cell phone, public documents, and law enforcement databases, I have learned that the Russell cell phone has a contact for Russell's mother. I have also learned that on or about December the 4th, 2018, at approximately 11.20 p.m., Russell's mother texts the Russell cell phone in substance, be humble when or if you talk to Rob because you made another move without checking with him first. Even though it was for his benefit, he might not approve of your actions. I have also learned that on or about December the 5th, 2018, Russell's mother texted the Russell cell phone in substance. My calls were to all, to tell not to mention the woman, the women, the woman's name that is assisting you. Remember, someone in Rob's circle may be a mole. So give her an alias based on my participation and the investigation, I believe that Russell's mother was referring to R. Kelly when directing Russell to be humble when or if you talk to Rob and referring to CC1, which is Cash Jones and the threat scheme described herein when directing Russell to conceal the name of the woman assisting you. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. I said it once and I said it again. If it wasn't for Don, Rob wouldn't be in jail. Now, when I say that, a lot of y'all run to the gun threat. A lot of y'all run to this stuff. No. Think stupid. I'm talking about before the gun threat. What happened before the gun threat? Y'all don't know. Y'all wasn't there. So evidently, sit back, shut the fuck up, and let the people who knows what the fuck going on do what we do. See, we not R. Kelly's secret enterprise people, as he said many times. We not R. Kelly's secret task force. That was his exact words. Which newsflash types in enterprise. So with that being said. I bet y'all want to know exactly what I know. 
So for the idiot, mocha dick sucker, you always got something to say. You remind me of Jim Dariagas. You act like I fucked you and left you. I don't talk to avatars. That's why I don't indulge with you. Queen Diva. Finally, you changed your avatar page. Now you got your real pitch up there, but I still don't fuck with you because you're a liar and you are a dick sucker and a ghostwriter. But wait, you say you for R. Kelly, right? That's why I played the song. Everybody plays a fool because even I played the fool. But you for R. Kelly, Queen Diva, right? <laughs> you always on choke no joke channel, right? These not my words. I want you to hear just how Choke feel about R. Kelly. Anyone is going to get out of a long sentence. We done seen so many people give time back. Max B got 75 years and turned around and, and had like 10, 12 from 75. Uh, Bill Cosby was doing time. He was going. He was going to die in jail. He's home right now, smoking a cigar. You know, eating peanut butter and jelly, or goddamn Jello pudding. So you never know. You know, uh, people convictions get overturned. Uh, laws change to get things overturned. Sometimes that don't happen, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel if you are a person that is persistent, especially a person that went to trial and lost trial. A person that goes to trial and lost trial, loses trial, can always get an appeal. So there's always light at the end of the tunnel in that case. Um, Like I said, you gonna have a lot of people that's gonna turn their back on you. You're gonna have people that you thought never cared about you step up and show you more love than ever. You it's gonna be a weird situation for you right now. Mm -hmm. You know, but the reason you're in your position. Tell everybody how you feel, Choke. Most of all, is because on well, two things. You couldn't read and write, or you can't read and write, and a lot of people took advantage of you. I believe that's the bigger part of business-wise why you're in, in the position that you're in. Mm -hmm. The other is your own vices. You just liking young girls. Oh. So, and then you, third, selling your soul to the devil. Oh. Selling your soul to Lucifer. Mm. Now, you selling your soul gained you all, gave you everything that you wanted to hang yourself. The mm. devil came back with a receipt. His receipt. And yes, she is. This is your you reap what you sow mm -hmm. type of situation. You did a deal with the devil, who was the music industry, and they gave you everything that you wanted. They covered everything up for you that needed to be covered up for you for all the years that they needed to, Fact so that you can, they could get rich. You made a deal with the devil, and you got you reap the benefits of it. But there is a time hey, when girl. you do a deal with the devil that he comes and he wants his payday. Now, for you, by the grace of God, he didn't take your life like Michael, Whitney, Chris. And there's only others to come. 
Você sai do meu caso. E a amor de Deus o que dá. É negar o punch. So I got a question. So I got a question. So now, because he didn't make it where he wanted to be as a rapper, everybody else made a deal with the devil. So was it that you was trying to make a deal with the devil, but 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 you just didn't have a talent, if that's the case? I'm just lost. That's all, but let's finish. That's just a question I had. And Lucifer is going to punish you because you did it. He gave you everything you want, all the riches in the world. Now here's your punishment for everything that he gave you. R. Kelly, all, first thing you need to do is repent. Repent your sins, brother. You're only in there for only because of what you did. They may have pulled tricks and did foul things to convict you. But if you didn't put yourself in a position to be convicted, they wouldn't have been able to got you, get you. Just as with Whitney. If she wasn't messing with the drugs, they couldn't have used the drugs to kill her. Same thing. I'm excited. I got a package from Human. This is Live Human's product, Super Beans, sure. Circulation Superfood that supports. But Michael, if he wasn't putting himself to sleep, they wouldn't have made sure he slept eternally. And we go on the whole way down to. Uh, What's the dude's name that played Batman? Heath Ledger. And they broke back Mountain and all that other oh, no. stuff. Oh, no. That's not he Heath played Ledger. the Joker. Heath Ledger. Oh, God. What's his name? Somebody help me out in the comments, please. Right, Prima. So true. What's his name? The dude who played the Joker. Y'all that won the... They get a war to Heath, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger, like I said. Another person sold his soul. Really? You know what I'm saying? Not Kurt Cobain. But yeah, Keith, Heath Ledger. But you didn't you sell your soul saying? to the crack pipe? You make a deal with the devil, mm -hmm. he got a receipt. And he coming back. R. Kelly, for you, I'm willing to bet it's about your publishing. I'm willing to bet this is all about your publishing. This right, is Brandon. all about your money. Because now with you in jail, everybody that controls your business controls your money. And you already... What up, J-Rock? Um, they already know that you're incompetent. You can't read or write. Mm. Right? So this is why they take advantage of you. And you being in jail... Is the, was the best thing they could do because Facts. you don't have no drug vices. Your vices was the girls. So they used that to take you out. You did it to yourself, brother. Even though then you may have not did how they say you did it, but when you look at the, the charges that they put on you with the racketeering and the uh the other the charge the other sexual charge or whatever so sex trafficking just little words in there they got you they got you just because of the little words that legal words right because of the lifestyle that the devil gave you signed up for it so here is where you repent your sins. You know what you did. You know the stuff that you didn't get caught with. You know the stuff they accused you of that you didn't do. But you know, for the most part, you where you at because of when you, who you did the deal with. So accept it. Ooh. Accept it, but accept it and repent your sins and then do what you got to do to walk out of there. It ain't over for you unless you give up. And I'm not joking when I say this, R. Kelly. 
Your biggest redemption to the devils, to Lucifer, whoever you sold your soul to. Wow. To the entertainment industry, your biggest redemption is to get educated in that jail. Now that you're in a federal prison and you got federal funding in the prison and they pay for your education, get educated, brother. You are the best singer in the world outside of Michael Jackson. You accomplish is you accomplish everything in the world. You threw it away for some coochie, for some young coochie. Wait, but that this is where that sound like bad, but you pinch your sins and you accept who you are and you ask God for forgiveness and you move on and get help. Hold on, hold on. But hold on. your redemption to the entertainment. Hold on. You live on Dan J show. What's up? Man, I had to, I didn't mean to interrupt this show, but just listening to this right here, bro, this is why I want everybody to know that this is why I don't mess with 60% of the pretenders who pretend to support Robert. I don't mess with you. I don't want you on my in my chat. I don't want you coming up fuck numbers. I don't want you anywhere near my channel. To hear this man saying the things that he's saying, to just listen to this dude, and then all of a sudden he gets a fucking epiphany, which was his cash apps, and he says, wait a minute, just like the baby killer, I can say all these bad things about R. Kelly, but wait a minute, hold on, I ain't going to get no money talking bad about R. Kelly, I'm going to get some goddamn cash apps from these fools if I flip it. Every person listening to this who has ever sent that guy a dollar should feel like a damn fool. You're looking at a man on the screen, Dana J, who has never, you've never heard him falter or flip. They cannot find one video, one recording of Dana J talking about R. Kelly like a dog, talking about he sold his soul to the devil, he liked young girls, you did it to yourself. You cannot find one audio or video of me, Levi, talking about R. Kelly like a dog, saying he sold his soul to the devil. He like young girls. You get what you get because you did it to yourself. If you play, if you listen to what y'all just heard this crackhead motherfucker say, and you compare it to the baby killer, he said the same exact thing. You peed on a girl. You did what you did. So take it. And so did Don and Russell say the same man. thing and, on his platform. And, and, and so did the snake and DC and several others. These people that y'all look at as being sincere. How do you live your lives? How can I say one thing? About, but you know the difference between Dana and myself and most of you, most of y'all? We know the man personally. We love him dearly. So when you say the things that this dude is saying <coughs> about R. Kelly... And when you got love for R. Kelly, that dude couldn't stand within arm's reach of me without picking himself up off the, off the goddamn ground. You ain't going to talk about someone that I love that way. And you all of a sudden, these some of these stupid people, listen, most of you so-called supporters of R. Kelly are only here for... Are you going through the outback? You're called... Yo. Yo. Oh. Here, call back. But let's listen to this drum. Stream, my nigga. Get educated in there. Nigga, do not go in that jail and fucking commit suicide. Do not. Oh my God. Do not go in that goddamn jail and commit suicide and give up like a fucking sucker. You want a new goal, brother? Go in that motherfucker and get your doctorates. Die an educated man. You went in there a man that could not read. You ain't got nothing but time in there. Get in there 
and educate yourself, brother. Start off getting your GED. After you get your GED, get your associate's degree. What? Then your bachelor's, then your master's, then your doctor's. And then turn around to this goddamn industry and, and give these people the, the, the goddamn middle finger and educate you yourself and get your day. fucking money, nigga. Cali? Did we know this is about your money? Outside of your weakness for young women. He just posted this the other day. Us that know ain't stupid, bro. We know your ass is in jail for some money, some publishing. You sold more records than anybody out here. You wrote more hit records than anybody out here. Who's going to control your money while you in jail? That's facts, Prima. Facts, Prima. This is about your music. They, they know you have a vice with the young women. You did some fucked up shit, brother. Yeah, you did. But a lot of these girls is full of shit and their parents is full of shit too because they try to use you to get on. I'm absolutely obsessed with my results from Claire Brilliant. I've always struggled with hyperpigmentation and acne scarring, and Claire Brilliant was the only thing that ever worked. Ah! We see that part of it. We know all, all these women ain't goddamn innocent, bro. And some of them, they are. But a lot of them, they tried to come up. Uh, we've seen it in the industry for years. Some of these stupid niggas are married to some of these chicks. These same type of chicks. Don't make me name them. Some of y'all niggas are married to these same hoes out here that be at every show in every city and every state. Some of y'all niggas got caught by these chicks that we know Thanks, Kevin. been trying to catch niggas Thanks, you, sir. for years. <clears throat> some of y'all niggas married these hoes. And you walk in the room in the industry and she don't fuck every nigga in there. And all these niggas are shaking your hand, giving you that view of looking at her or, or agreeing her, knowing that they was all in her neck. Right, Lisa. <clears throat> read, listen to what he's saying and read in between the lines of what he's saying. Y'all niggas married me hoes, nigga. They don't fuck every nigga and shit in the industry. What's the definition of a cult? What's the definition of a sex lane? Go to the dick. These niggas want babies in them. I admit I got some girls that love me to pull their hair. And I admit they love me to talk dirty. So I get it. There's a place in every jail called the Law L A W. All right, oh, I got a feeling. Oh, you can get blocked. Yep, you can get blocked. You put your cash out on my life. The devil is a liar. You probably ain't hear about it or, or heard about it, heard niggas talk about it, but it's no place you, you you probably visit because allegedly you can't read and write. Still, take this sentence, brother. Get on your knees and thank God that you still have your life because that goddamn machine could have took you out and took your life. They took you out. They all be wine you. Yeah, they did that. They got you on that. But as you can see, they Bill Cosby you. But as you can see. Damn, they Bill Cosby and Harvey Weinstein? Is it can be light at the end of the tunnel for you. Own your shit. Go get educated. Facts, Prima. Get in the law library. Work with the smart dudes in the jail that know the law. Learn how to read and write, bro. You not being that motherfucker watching TV playing cards. And spades and dominoes with these niggas. 
Stay your ass in school, brother. Get educated. You still got 20 good years of your life. You can go and, and have a master's in 10 right, years. EJ. Right, EJ. You ain't got nothing but time, brother. Educate yourself. Get your appeal. And try to get yourself back out. Do not stop singing. Do not let it break your spirit. If you stop singing, your voice is going to turn to shine. You got to keep exercising your vocal cords. Nigga, go in the yard, walk around that motherfucker and sing. Sing to the niggas in there if you got to sing. Keep your vocal cords going because it may not be over for you. You never know. The way these weirdos is working right now, the way the Democrats is working right now, pushing this pedophilia shit, nigga, they may overturn some shit for you to get out. Now, I hope they don't. Because that shit is... But the way they making boys, girls, and, and girls can play sports with boys, and they trying all this sneaky pedophilia stuff, 10 years from now, that shit may be legal, nigga, and you might walk out of it. As sick as it sounds. But looking at these goddamn Democrats and all these laws that they pushing and pushing what the investigation on these kids, nigga, you never know what the fuck can happen. But nigga, you better not go in that motherfucking jail and hang up. You better not hang up, nigga. Go in that motherfucker and get educated. Ashley, thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. I mean, the cash app. They donating to that nigga. Mm. Go in there, brother, and get educated. Do not fucking go kill yourself, R. Kelly. Everybody out here thinking you weak. They think you're going to fold and, and do a fucking bur uh Not Bernie Madoff. What's this other dude name? Yeah, MLJ. Uh... Epstein. They think you're going to Epstein yourself. Do not hang up our jelly. Pray for forgiveness. Facts, Prima. You, you, you got us convinced that you believe in God. If you believe in God, you know why you in there. If you believe in God, you believe in God and I got faith. You can get out of it. But no, you cross God. That's why you in there, brother. For all that fame and all that riches, this is what you get. That's what you signed up for. That's what you signed up for. You don't know how the devil going to give it back to you. You don't know. <laughs> Same way Kanye out here fucking around between realms. One minute he, bro, he rolling with Satan, one day, minute he rolling with Jesus, but he really rolling with Lucifer, but he acting like he rolling with Jesus. Watch how his shit turn out. I thought Satan and Lucifer were the same person. Lillian, good look at you, Lillian. Cookie from the BX. Thank you for the cash out. Kanye, I don't wish no bad on him. Right, J-Rock. You can't play with God. You can't play with Lucifer. Fact. He'll give you all the riches you want, but it come with a cost. So R. Kelly, do not go in that motherfucking jail and kill yourself. You better not, nigga. You better be tougher than that. Did you know that the average adult has 5 to 20 pounds of toxic poop in their body at any given moment? Seems crazy, right? All that poop just sitting there, rotting away inside their intestines and colon. Is it any wonder that colon disease is on the... If you, if you were strong enough to deal and, and do what the fuck you did, nigga, you better be strong enough to do the time, nigga. But do not do that shit in there wasting time.
It was me. You're live on the Dana J Show. How can I help you, call him? Hey, brother, let me say this, nephew. If y'all just <clears> heard <throat> what he said, he said, he called him a pedophile. He said, you never know. The way the Democrats are pushing this gay uh, pedophile agenda, they may overturn some laws and you may get out in 10 years. Which I hope they don't. I, ho I, don't, I hope you don't get out. I hope the laws are not overturned. But all of his commentary, he's calling him a pedophile. Now here is where decency and integrity comes in with people. People, what proof did he have that Rob sold his soul to the devil? What proof did he have that Rob was a pedophile? What was the proof? Do you know people in the entertainment industry and in movies and all of these uh, higher, higher uh, walks of entertainment, those who sell their soul to the wicked, dark forces, they never see jail? They never lose their money. If Robert was one of those individuals, he would be worth a billion dollars. He would have never been charged with anything. Satan doesn't come after his own. So this dude right here, I have to say this, man, because it really upsets me. Because I got something for his ass, too. Let me tell you something. Miss April, to Miss Darling April, don't give up. Don't worry. Levi got these niggas, every single one of them who have tried to profit off him, who have uh, tried to exploit him, who on one hand you're saying this, on the next hand you're saying that, all of those who chose to use that man's hey, life as a joke, <clears throat> causing him what to I stay in there. When you look at who he aligned himself with, he's done, okay? Broke, no joke, is done. I served right praying on all of a sudden became active. Get out of here. But shame on all of y'all who even tune into his fucking channel. Dude, in any way, Dana is playing the words. Dana's not, that ain't no cap. Dana's playing his own words. He's playing the words of the man saying, you need to stand there for the rest of your life. You did what you did. People don't change, people. People don't change. If you feel a certain way, you know who I respect? I respect people who have not said anything about Rob. I respect those who don't come out like the John Legends, the Choke No Jokes, the Jada Pinkett Smith, the Charlemagne the Goddesses, and Choke No Jokes is nowhere near them. He's just a nigga in a fucking project in a goddamn kitchen. Huh? He has no notoriety. Nobody messes with him. He's cut enough. everybody's throat that he's encountered. <laughs> No one messes with them. But I have a problem with you so-called supporters. How can you say you love Robert and hear this man say the things that he's saying and even tune into his damn channel? Hold on for a Dana second. Hold on, hold, on, hold on for a second, Levi. Hey, Gemini Don, he just uploaded this the other day. So I don't know if it's old, which I doubt, because he's still talking about some current stuff that just happened, like just like with Kanye. So he just uploaded this the other day. Go ahead, Levi. See, that's another thing people do. Jim and I dying is old. The fuck you mean is old? If a motherfucking tape surfaced of Levi, Levi or Dana talking about Robert like a dog saying he's a pedophile, would you say it's old? Huh? Or would you hold us to our words? See, this is the game people play with y'all. Well, that's old. Uh, he killed the baby years ago. Uh, he talked about Rob. That's old. What do you mean old? It ain't about being old. It's about you speaking your fucking mind and being exposed, yo. I'm sorry for swearing on your channel, bro. But at the same time, that's why Gemini Don, all of y'all, don't come to my channel. I don't mess with you. Because you're liars, you're hypocrites, and you want to side with people that entertain you at the expense of Robert's goddamn life. This man is fighting for his life. And this man said into the public, choke no joke didn't say no different than what Oko, Team True, Larry, Angelo, and all of them were saying. He said the exact same words. But then you want to hold them 
people to what they say and what they said, but you don't want to hold the people that you favor, that you want to support, because you don't give a damn about the man. I'm, I'm done when I say this. The difference between Choke No Joke and most of these so-called bloggers, the difference between them and Dana J and Levi and Darlene April is that we know the man personally. We know his heart. We've never conceded to the idea or the thought that he was guilty. We've maintained his innocence as he has. We've never faltered and flipped and flopped. Okay? So to all of those who support people like that, who pretend to be R. Kelly supporters, and you're along for the ride for entertainment at that man's expense, I'm going to say it to you straight up. You ain't worth a fucking dollar. You ain't worth a penny. But just know, I'm not playing games with none of y'all. A lot of y'all have set up and sent the baby killer and different nigga shit meddling in federal cases. If this is what I want to say to hey, Levi, in April, hey, Levi. don't worry about it. Yes, yes, sir. Levi, Gemini Dawn said all he was saying is that he saw the video months ago. I remember when he posted it. He's probably reposting his old stuff again. That's all he said. That's all he was saying. And I'm going to say again to Gemini Don, if a tape surface of Dana J saying that Rob is a pedophile, he sold his soul to the devil, take what you get, you did the time, the crime, so do the time, nigga. Would Gemini Don say, well, Dana said that uh, months ago. Dana said that months ago. No, Jim and I dying to say Dana J is a fake, a fraud, and trying to make money off R. Kelly. I, to be honest with you, I'm going to just keep it real because I'm so serious with this now. Fuck you, Jim and I Don. Fuck you. And I don't even talk to people like that. Just leave I telling you. Fuck you. Okay? I love that man. Dana love that man. Darling April love. We love that man. And in your life, you may allow people to talk about your love ones and then flip it for some goddamn money. Don't talk to me, Gemini Don, about he said that then. No, look at that nigga's cash app. He wasn't getting no money like that until he started pretending to be for R. Kelly. And then this goddamn rogue ex-police commissioner, all of these bastards. Why don't Choke No Joke tell y'all why he couldn't get in to see my cousin in New York, nigga? Tell the people that. Tell the people how long Levi's arm is, Okay. Miss April, don't you worry about it. I'm about to go. Miss April, I think you, you and worry. Gemini need to have a conversation off the scene. Yes, sir. Because I think y'all miss. But I think y'all missing points. I brought him in this, and I apologize if I got upset, Gemini and Don, Gemini and Don. But I don't play when it comes to that man. That man's been sitting in a dungeon for almost three years. That man is suffering under these bitches, okay? So don't make excuses to me about what someone said back then. Is that how you live your life? Is it, are you the kind of person when your mate cheats on you? Levi, Levi, hey, Levi. Gemini said, yo, I have no beef with you. He's like, yo, relax, bro. He was just pointing out that he was just pointing out for that that the video came out and before and this is another time it came out. Okay, but what difference does it make? These are the words that he spoke. Dana J never said nothing. Dana J never said a, a, a year ago that Rob was a pedophile. Okay, don't, don't, with brother. Okay, Gemini Don, I apologize to you because I'm emotional over this. I'm passionate. But I'm going to say it again. When a person speak words, they mean them, okay? You can lose your life in life allowing a person to say, oh, I said I was going to do this to you, but now I don't mean it. I said R. Kelly was a pedophile, but now I don't mean it, okay? That's just life. When you say something, you stand on that, and you said it because you said it. And when it comes to Levi, there's a fucking price to pay for that. I'm, I'm too upset that I don't want to be swearing on your show. I'm going to finish listening to your show. But I'm going to tell you this. All of those who have exploited this man, just know you all have a feature in my report. And the feds will be coming for your ass if you committed any federal infractions. Don't you worry, Darlene April. Rob is coming home. But individuals like Choke No Joke, trust me, he's going in, Miss April. I told him that these people had threatened my life, and it's on record. He sat on recorded tapped phones and tried to get my real identity for the goddamn terrorists, and he's going to pay a 
price for that. Okay? He's going to learn I'm a very serious man, and I can predict a double cross. I brought him in to the R. Kelly movement. I didn't know he had said all of these things. I take responsibility for that. But I'm also responsible for taking his ass out. Y'all have a nice day. Man, you never know how things go. But shout out to Gemini for pointing that out. Uh, I'm glad they was able to get some type of resolution between them two brothers. Jeez. But look, it's 12.15. I got to get ready to go to work. I'll be back this evening. We're going we gonna to finish talking about this this evening. Oh, yeah, we are. We're we going to finish talking about this this evening. Lord have mercy. One thing I understand is that this whole R. Kelly sector and talking about Rob, it can really get you to a point where things can go left real quick. But look, I'm 115 in. I love everybody, man. I love all of y'all. Um, everybody that loved me, I love them. <clears throat> no new friends, though. I'm going to vet. I'm going to vet everybody. That want to come in new. No new friends. Uh, my friend card has been revoked. <laughs> so hey, don't blame it on me. But look, you don't have to get you don't have to get uh, you don't have to be great to get started, but you gotta get started to be great. Be someone important. Be yourself, man. Please be yourself. Elephants don't swipe flies. And remember, God got a plan for your life. Until the next time I see you, Dana J up out. Don't forget we on Rumble tonight, 10, 10 p.m. Because we're going to talk about the real reason why Ukraine has been bombed. Not invaded, but bombed. All right, peace. I don't like to waste time on stupid conversation. There's no profit in that. So if I'm around people that are always complaining with no solutions, then I'm wasting real estate in my brain for what I need to project. And what I project in my brain is what I project in my reality. So that real estate only has to be for evolution, things that are going to help me get where I got to go. You understand? Help me evolve. So if my conversation with you makes me stagnate, we don't have too much conversation either. I don't have no time for no stupid-ass conversation. Oh, what? Say it